Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss how to write a Python program to print inverted of pyramid using star. What is meant by inverted of pyramid? Suppose let's take that user has entered the number of rows as 3. Then in the first row, you should display three stars in the second row you should display two stars in the third row you should display the one star similarly let's take that user has entered the number of rows as four then in the first row you need to display four stars in the second row you need to display the three stars in the third row you need to display two stars in the fourth row one star should be displayed so the off pyramid will be depend on the number of rows the user has entered so what we need to do, first we need to ask the user to enter the number of rows. To do that one, what I will do is that I will use the input function. Inside the input function, I will write a statement called enter the number of rows. And you know that input function will return everything in the form of a string. So I need to convert into an integer. So I will do the type casting. Now, if you observe it, the inverted off pyramid, we need to traverse the rows and then in each row we need to display certain values. Am I right? Means star you need to display. So you need to use the nested loop. So now let me write the outer loop. For i in range, a row is my start value, stop value is 0 and the step value is minus 1. Then for j in a range, I will write i. Then print, I need to display the star and I need to end with the space. And then I will write print this one. Now let me run the program. Let me enter the number of rows as 5. If you see the number of rows as 5, you can see the output. In the first row, 5 stars has been displayed. In the second row, four stars. In the third row, three stars. In the fourth row, two stars. Finally, one star has been displayed. Now let me run it again and give the different input. Now I have entered the number of rows as four. Now you can see the output. Four stars, three stars, two stars, one star has been displayed. Similarly, if I give the input as three, then you can see this one. Three stars, two stars, one star. So this is what we will call it as inverter of pyramid using star. Now what I will do for better understanding, I will trace the program. Okay. So now let's take that user has entered the number of rows as three. So whatever the value three will be stored in the variable called row. Now this is our outer loop. And you know that range will take three values. What are the three values it will take? It will take the start okay the start value is row which is nothing but 3 only because the row is having the value 3 and the stop is equal to 0 and the step is equal to minus 1 because any loop will have the three sessions one is the initialization a termination condition and the iteration so here the initialization is the start and the termination is the stop and the iteration is the step value which is minus 1 Okay, now look at here. The variable i will get the initial value is equal to start value. What is the start value here? 3. So, it will get the 3 i. Then what is the termination condition? i should be greater than stop. Once i is greater than stop, this is fine. If i is equal to stop, then you need to stop it. So, it will start from... 3, then 2, then 1. Once it becomes 0, you need to stop it. Okay. Now look at here. What is the i value? i value is 3 is greater than stop. What is the stop value? 0. So the condition is true. If the condition is true, the statements which are there in the outer for loop need to be executed. So these are the three statements belongs to the outer for loop. So immediately if you see there is a loop. So this loop we will call it as inner loop. And in the inner loop, the range having only one value, which is a stop value. So the default value of the start will be 0 and the stop is equal to i. What is the i value? 3. 
okay you can observe here i value is 3 so that's why stop value is equal to 3 and the step value by default will consider it as 0 so as they have provided only stop value you need to consider the start value and step value as default values which are 0 and 1 respectively now look at here the j initial value is equal to start value which is a 0 then j should be less than stop okay now what is the j value 0 is less than what is the stop value 3 so again the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which are there in the inner loop should be displayed okay so what it is happening you have a statement called print star so one star will be printed and end is equal to space so after printing the star will give a space then the statements which are there in the inner loop has been completed then where the control will go the control will go to the iteration of the inner loop okay what is the iteration j value is 0 so j is equal to j plus step what is the j value 0 what is the step value 1 so j is equal to 1 so that is what the iteration as the j value is 0 step value is 1 you need to increment by 1 so if you increment by 1 you will get the value 1 so now again you will verify the condition j is less than stop what is the j value 1 what is the stop value 3 so again the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which are there in the inner loop will be executed again there is a print star so a star will be displayed and n is equal to space so you will give a space here then again the control will go to the iteration j value is currently one step value is one so you need to increment by one okay so here you will get the j value is equal to two suppose if the step value is two you need to increment by two okay if the step value is three you need to increment by three so j is equal to currently two j should be less than stop so j value is 2 and stop value is 3 so 2 is less than 3 so the condition is again true if the condition is true the statements which are belongs to the inner loop should be executed so you have print star so star will be displayed and it will give a space then again the control will go to the iteration j value is currently 2 step value is 1 so you need to increment by 1 so j value will become 3 so 3 is less than 3 no the condition is false if the condition is false the statements which are belongs to the inner for loop will not be executed then what is the next statement will be executed this statement which belongs to the outer loop because we are running the outer loop okay and then print if i does not give anything normally if i give something that something will be displayed and it will go to the new line if i make it a empty then it will not print anything directly it will go to the new line so after printing three stars we need to go to the new line so that's why i have added this print so you can see in the first row three stars should be displayed that has been displayed now we are going to the new line okay now let's see where the control will go after executing this statement it will go to the iteration of the outer loop because all the statements which are there in the outer loop have been executed so then control will go to the iteration so what is the iteration i value is 3 and step value is minus 1 so you need to decrement the i value by 1 so already i value is 3 if you decrement by 1 i value will become 2 now verify the condition i should be greater than stop what is the i value 2 2 is greater than 0 yes the condition is true as the condition is true again the statements which are belongs to the outer for loop should be again executed so you have the range i what is the i value 2 so now stop value will become 2 start value will be 0 step value will be 1 because they does not provided the start value and step value so you will consider the default values and j value will start from 0 which is start value then again you will verify the condition j should be less than stop what is the j value 0 
what is the stop value 2 now 0 is less than 2 yes the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which belongs to the inner loop will be executed which is print star so in the next line a star will be displayed so this is what the star has been displayed after printing you will give a space because end is equal to space then again the control will go to the iteration of the inner loop j value is currently 0 step value is 1 so you need to increment by 1 so j value will become 1 and again you will verify the condition j should be less than stop what is the j value 1 what is the stop value 2 so 1 is less than 2 so the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which belongs to the inner for loop should be executed so print star so again star will be displayed as an output then where the control will go the control will go to the iteration of the inner for loop so j value is currently 1 and step value is 1 so j value will become 2 again the condition will be verified j should be less than stop what is the j value 2 what is the stop value 2 is the 2 is less than 2 no the condition is false because 2 is equal to 2 if the condition is false the statements which are there in the inner for loop will not be executed then this print will be executed what it will do it will not display anything and it will go to the new line so after printing two stars in the second row we are going to the third row okay okay we are going to the third row now let's see after executing this print statement where the control will go the control will go to the iteration of the outer loop what is the current i value 2 and what is the step value minus 1 so you need to decrement the i value by 1 so 2 if you decrement by 1 you will get the value 1 so i is now 1 i should be greater than stop what is the i value 1 what is the stop value 0 so 1 is greater than 0 so the condition is again true if the condition is true all the statements which belongs to the outer loop should be again executed now there is a inner loop for j in range i so the stop value will be i value which is a 1 the start value and step value will be 0 and 1 respectively so j value will be the start value which is 0 j should be less than stop this is the condition j value is how much zero what is the stop value one so zero is less than one or not yes zero is less than one so the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which belongs to the inner for loop will be executed which is print star so star will be printed and then n is equal to space then what will happen the control will go to the iteration of the inner for loop okay so j value is 0 and step value is 1 so you need to increment by 1 so j value will become 1 and then you will verify the condition j should be less than stop what is the j value 1 what is the stop value 1 is 1 is less than 1 no the condition is false if the condition is false the statements which are there in the inner for loop will not be executed then the next statement is what print so it is an empty one so it will not print anything and it will go to the new line so after printing one star it will go to the new line then where the control will go as all the statements in the outer for loop has been executed once then the control will go to the iteration of the outer loop so what is the current i value one what is the step value minus one so you need to decrement by one so i value will become zero and what is the condition i should be greater than stop what is the i value zero what is the stop value zero is zero is greater than zero no the condition is false if the condition is false the statements which are there in the outer loop will not be executed after the outer loop is there any statements no so then the program will terminate so if you see we got this output three stars in the first row two stars in the second row one star in the third row i hope you have understood how to write a python program to print inverted of pyramid using star if you still have any doubts related to this question feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video 
Have a nice day.